Hello guys, welcome back to another Robert Does Fishing vlog and happy new year to everyone. That's us into January of 2024. I hope everyone had a lovely festive period there and I'm wishing all my fellow anglers tight lines for the 2024 season. So today I've just popped down to the River Air at, at Mauchlin. Um, I was fancied a shot at the Grayling actually. It's a nice cold, clear, frosty day here in East Ayrshire. So um, it's good, uh, good weather for the Grayling. So I'm going to be trying some Euro nymphing today. Um, it's a technique that I've sort of dabbled with if you like over the last couple of years and had, had mixed success with i think i just need to try and force myself into it make the mistakes and just learn so that i can try and fine tune the method if you like so there's a few nice runs down here um, at the mill stream uh, behind me just at the skimming bridge there so i'm going to have a wee go with some with some heavy tungsten tungsten weighted nymphs in the in the stream there and, and see how we go on there's a good head of grayling in the river there so uh, and there's a few, I've had a few nice ones over the year, about three quarters of a pound, a pound max, so uh, good good for this river. So we'll have a wee go uh, and we'll see how we go on. So I'll flip the camera around and then we'll uh, talk a wee bit about my setup. Alright guys, I think I've gone through this setup before, but just to quickly run over it again, it's a, that reel is just an old, <laughs> an old plastic barred reel. But it's got quite a large arbor on it, so I thought it might be quite good for the, for the Euro Nymph. And it's not a full cage reel, so... I've yet to get tangled up in it, but I'm sure that that day will come when my line gets tangled up uh, at the side of the, the reel there. So um, that's the reel on. It's just backing straight onto a. a I think it's one. Of, I think it's a nine meter uh, hens camu French leader. Uh, so that's in the the high vis sort of yellow yellow monofilament, really long tapered leader there. And uh, let's go up here. So on the end of that, I have. I think this is a hen's one as well, it's a sighter. So that goes on the end of the, I think it's gonna, gonna come into focus there. So that goes on the end of the French leader there. And then after that, I've maybe got about four or five feet of, I think it's four, three or four pound fluorocarbon. And uh, on the dropper there, first dropper I've got a wee sort of, I don't know if that'll come into focus. A wee sort of uh, hair's ear with UV, with a UV rib. Um, I think that's a 3mm silver tungsten bead. And then on the point fly here, I've got another weighted weighted nymph here. This is a red tag. I was going to see it's got a CDC hackle sort of collar on it. For plenty of movement in the water there. And with some glow bright floss round it and a tag there as well. So hopefully that'll stand out in, in the water. Sorry, I should have said the rod that I've got is my, my 10 foot 10 foot 3 weight Shakespeare agility nymphing rod so um we'll see how we get on with that um, the water's nice and clear today um probably sitting just above but i would say summer level sort of between between 0 0.2 and 0 0.3 meters at the gauge at katrin so yeah well um i'm going to jump in over here and i'm going to start in the kind of maybe start in the faster actually maybe start in the faster water there at the tail of the nursery I've been reading a lot about the Euro, the Euro nymphin, and uh, the guys are saying it's amazing the, the amount of fish that you catch in like white ankle deep white water or fast water. So listen, we'll give a go. We'll have a go in there and uh, and see what happens. I'm going to concentrate on this. this sort of run over here, and then I think what I'll do is I'll maybe wade out into the water a bit um, and see if I can fish this wee run here, and then the main run below the the croy there for the old the old mill that jets out there so we'll jump in the water just now we'll get the gopro on make a few casts and uh, yeah we'll see we'll see what happens all right guys we're in we're in the water so um let's have a wee go with this method and see if we can pick anything up and um, i think if you can feel your if you can feel your nymph sticking along the bottom, I think there, yeah, that's a, probably a, a good sign. And then what we're looking for is that indicator to maybe, to maybe drop. Or, you know, jolt forward or just move in an unusual manner. And then any sort of any sort of unusual movement, a wee flick of the wrist to, to set the hook. I 
I'm expecting to lose some flies today. The river here is quite a it's quite a bouldery river rather than sort of flat gravel or certainly the parts that I fish are anyway. Oh, there's a fish. There we go. That was good. That was, that wasn't far away from me either. It's, uh, it's amazing how close the fish can. As I say, it can sit right in the right in the fast water. No, you know, no uh, deep water and no that far away for you. Just sitting in the current there. Uh, See if we can. Ah, it's a nice grayling by the looks of it. Took the dropper. Took the silvery fly. Ah, the one with the UV on it. Then we'll see if we can get him in, come on. See if I can pull them up upstream in there a wee bit. Come on. God, I'm making an arse of this. There we go. Good. Nice fish. Not a bad grayling at all. Oh, he's a cracker. Ah, maybe a bit half a pound or something like that. Brilliant. Come on. Right, let's see if we can get him back. Look at that, nice grayling. Oh, that's lovely. It's maybe about three quarters of a pound, actually. Look at the big fin. Lovely fish. Good start. You want to go? There he goes. Lovely. Lovely fish. Oh well, that's a good start. The technique seems to be working well. Oh, they've got an audience up on the bridge there. There's some walkers going by. Alright, good. That was a perfect start, guys. A few casts are into a nice, into a nice grail in there. Ah. And another. Yeah, there's another one. They do tend to show up, so... This one feels like a better fish. There's another one in the same spot there. <sighs> See if I can get this guy up again. It's quite hard to get, up, to get them upstream again in this current. Aye, come on. I feel like they might come off actually. Come on. There we go. That's a, that's a better fish. 
Hey, what are you doing? Let's see if we can get him back. Oh, that's nice. That's maybe a bit, a bit of pound mark. Lovely. Oh, he's missing some of his fin. I wonder if he's something said a go at him. There he goes. A brilliant start. That's two in the net already. Just for that same that same run there. Right. Maybe have another wee go in here and then maybe move. Move down. Oh, that was a fish, missed it. They're still there, they must be. Showed up, Greyland tend to show up, show up sometimes. And uh, that's probably why we hit two in quick succession there. Just check my nymphs. Yeah, both of those fish went for the the hair's here with the UV in it. Get new waders. New waders during the festive period there. A few new bits of kit. I turned the grand old age of grand old age of 40 there in between Christmas and New Year, so. I got a few vouchers and bits and pieces like that for my birthday, so I get new waders and I get a a new reel from my salmon rod. I uh, ended up going for one of the Danielson ones. And I uh, love it so far. I love the look of it. Can't wait to hear it in action. Right, let's move down a wee bit. Maybe just move further down this run, I think. Normally meant to work up, but... I'll just give it a bash, because as I say, like... You know, the fish can be sitting right at your feet sometimes. I love days like this. Cold, crisp, clear days with the sun out. It was a... Uh, Foggy in Glasgow, it was freezing fog. My street was like an ice rink. Uh, but as soon as you come out of Glasgow up that hill and uh, coming down the 77, the sun came out. It was lovely. Alright, let's. By the wee run here, I think, maybe before the croy at the mill. I don't think it's very deep water, but we'll have a go, nonetheless. The main run I want to concentrate on is that uh, the mill stream there, like. The after the croy. Uh, but as I say, we'll work our way down. Work our way down this front. See if there's anything. Maybe worth going up to the meetings actually as well and just if I can get crossed over and fish that wee. Push the run that comes into the meetings. Tell you what, it doesn't give, half give you a sore arm. A year on them having your, your arm up like that all day. I 
thought I would have maybe picked up one in here, but I've not had any any offers so far. It's maybe a bit deeper. Maybe need to. I maybe need to. Nah, no, wouldn't think it's more deep than that. It's about four or five feet. I've got from my indicator onto my. Then again, I don't know for sure. About three or four feet deep, so maybe I'm just not getting deep enough. Maybe a bit too deep here. I work my way. I work my way back up, and I'll maybe maybe go up to the nursery there for a short. Where they can. The faster water is at the nursery. That's strange. I thought I'd, I thought I'd picked something up in that run. Let me fish. Let me fish up here. Up this bit. I think it's a bit shallower. I think maybe that was too deep down there for my. My length, my leader length. Is that a fish? That's nah, the bottom. <laughs> See if I can. Alright guys, that's me just getting packed up and, and ready to go up the road. Just a wee short session today. Um, I did go up to the nursery stream there for a wee shot, but it's dead snaggy up there. I lost a few nymphs in the trees as well, so I came back down here for a wee shot where I picked up those two grayling at the start, but, but nothing doing. They must, have, they must have switched off for the day. So yeah, it was really good to get those couple of nice grayling in the net at the start of the session there. Uh, like I was saying, um, with the Euro nymphing method, you know, it's, it just goes to show that if you try something new, or maybe try something that, you're, that you've tried before or perhaps not so comfortable with, it can really surprise you at times. Um, the, the nymphs were really flowing nicely through that bit of water at the start there. I think I had the weight right um, and the depth right of the flies, so um, that maybe helped towards putting those two fish in the net at the start there. So yeah, really, really pleased with that. A couple of really nice grail in there, uh, especially for this uh, for this river. So, But yeah, guys, like I always say, uh, please like the video if you enjoyed it. If you're new to the channel and want to see more of my content, please consider subscribing. And yeah, it really helps the helps the channel grow. I hope you um, I hope you somewhat enjoy the videos that I put out. So yeah, the next time I'll be out, guys. I'm not sure if I'll be out in the river again before um, before uh, the end of January. However, I do have some spay casting lessons booked on the River Tay up at the Lower Kinnaird Beat. So I may or may not uh, take the GoPro up and and, and vlog that because it's a morning session for the lessons. Uh, but then obviously I've booked the whole day at, at Lower Kinnaird, so. We'll see what happens. There's uh, it's early, early spring there, so but you never know. There's I suppose there's the odd the odd chance of a fish. You just never know. But yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Cheers.